So maybe I'll answer a couple of questions that we get in the comment section about the asbestos roof. And one of them would be a regular question, which is, why do we over spray the asbestos roof instead of removing it? And the quick answer to that is that by doing so, the client doesn't have to spend hundreds of thousands of euros for a new roof and we can recondition the existing roof. And by doing so, he doesn't have to close the factory. That's, what, that's what's happening here. This client here could have easily got this roof replaced, but that would mean that he would have to close his factory for a good, good couple of weeks and it would cost them extra couple of hundreds of thousands of euros. We're starting with setting out the walkways. So this is how you assemble it. So now when this is on the roof, we're gonna start fitting the handrails and then we're gonna hook ourselves to the hook point on the side and then we're gonna start carrying out repairs on those windows. So in order to do this job properly, we had to hire independent consultants. So we're just waiting for him with the boys. He's gonna give us the final go ahead and say, yes, boys, what you're doing is legal. You can do it. We have all the courses. We have all the asbestos awareness courses. We have assembled a walkways with handrail and with a harness hook point. So the lads can be hooked when they're doing some work. This is the only way to waterproof an asbestos roof. You can't walk on it. You can't overlay it with metal cladding because it will release the fibers as you're, try, as you're trying to fix it to the roof. This is the only way. We also have all of the moss scraped of the roof. As I mentioned previously, we first of all, we use the knapsack sprayer, spray them with water and then scrape it off. So we have the roof scraped. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spray the ATM 007 across the entire roof using this bad boy. And we're gonna leave the job for about two weeks let the ATM do its work. The roof is gonna clean itself, basically. We're gonna show you pictures of before and after. I have to say that this is probably the most important part of the job. And the reason why is that coatings, spray foam, any type of waterproofing, it's all about the adhesion. So if we applied a spray-on system onto a dirty roof, the adhesion just wouldn't be there. Simple as. We have the boys taking temperature reading and a moisture reading of the asbestos. As I said, the only way this job could go wrong if the stuff is applied onto a wet asbestos sheet. And we want to avoid that at all costs. When, when the roof is prepared and dry, the boys are applying the flash coat. Basically, it works as a primer. So they're putting a thin layer. You can see that been applied here. And this is what it looks like after a couple of minutes. So that will ensure the addition. So when it comes to liquid paints, it's always to do things in two coats. So what we're doing is we're using the asbestos as a carrier membrane for a new system. As you can see here, all the joints, all the seams are coated. Now you're gonna see what's gonna happen after the boys apply an inch of the foam. As you can see, the foam will expand and it will fill all the voids. Look at that, look what's happening here. That's why this system is so successful. Because it leaves, it leaves the roof absolutely fully seamless. Look, see that? This is what it looks like. That's the finished product here, almost. All this needs is a top coat of the resin. So the color is gonna be a little bit darker, but when it comes to the consistency and the visual look, this is it. So this resin top coat on top of the polyurethane, it's like an extra jug of gravy on your dinner. That's basically what it is. This is super hard and flexible at the same time. It will also expand and contract. It's a great, it's a great material. The boys are applying multiple coats of the lava 20. We have a couple of pallets here. Here we have the solvent. Here we have a pallet of the lava, another pallet of the lava, a pallet of the gray top coat. And the main man Henry, say hello. hello. Yeah, hey. And here's the Greco King. It's called the King because it is King. This is what's pumping up the gear up onto the roof. So here we have open cans of the lava. And this giant machine is pumping it. I'm gonna quickly show you the setup of the trucks. Uh, I'm gonna show you what's needed to do this type of work in order to apply the foam. 
what we have here is we have a giant generator which is producing electricity which is powering the Graco machine this is a spray foam machine okay so it's a two component machine so there's your two components component A and component B so what that does it heats so these pumps are heating the material to a certain temperature then the both components are pumped through the hoses and at the end of it you have a gun oh. when you press this lever the two products are gonna mix themselves at the tip of the gun that's why the spray foam when it when it's applied onto the roof it's set within a couple of seconds so here you have the machine here you have the jenny and here is an air compressor and an air dryer with a cylinder that's all the setup you need to do this type of stuff and we have uh, two trucks here there's another truck so we're gonna go with two trucks at this roof